A common date, even in certified super gym conditions, the 1942 AS Lincoln Sun is a nonetheless a condition rarity as fine as MS-68 red. The present coin displays a sharp strike and softly frosted fire orange luster, struck from a fresh dice with no obvious carbon spotting, a virtually flawless coin which ended up selling for $7,200. A wartime nickel in circulated condition, 1943 P. Jefferson nickel struck on a copper nickel planchet, graded as extremely fine 40 by PCGS. All Jefferson nickels struck in 1943 were supposed to be issued on silver alloy planchets to conserve a copper and nickel for the war effort. However, a few leftover copper nickel planchets from 1942 were inadvertently fed into presses in 1943. This is distinctive from its silver alloy counterparts due to its patina, which retains a pleasing olive grey hue as opposed to the typical dark appearance of war nickels. It ended up selling for $7,800. Also, the 1963 D Franklin half dollar is plentiful in premium gem condition. Only few coins are known finer. This condition sensor's example displays a bold strike and frosty unabraded luster, rich amber gold, and olive toning on each side produce a strong visual appeal. This attractively toned specimen was sold for $7,200. This is 1939 Jefferson Nickel and Mint State 67 with full steps designation, highly elusive double die reverse variety or doubled Monticello in other words. Dramatic doubling on Monticello and 5 cents appear east of the primary letters to confirm the popular cherry pickers variety. Lesser doubling is visible on the United States of America along with the right side of the building. This is a sharp and richly frosted example finely grained from worn dyes. Yet with all devices boldly defined, a few tiny carbon flecks are noted but they do not detract from the brilliant and luster surfaces that display faint lemon gold accents. It was sold for $9,300 in 2020. This is 1954 S. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition, beautifully toned, the obverse is layered in an olive copper patina with softer blue-gray, gold and pale pink highlights that are most readily evident at direct viewing angles. The reverse is brilliant and both sides are equally well preserved to border on pristine. It ended up selling for $12,000. This is 1937 Buffalo Nickel in PR67 cameo condition. Proof Buffalo Nickels were short-lived at start of the series, being struck in the unpopular matte finish that was discontinued in 1916. Proof coinage of this denomination did not resume until 1936 and only two years of proof coinage were completed before the 1938 design change to Felix Schlack's Jefferson Nickel. While the final year 1937 proof buffalo issue is generally plentiful, a cameo examples are rare. Each side of this coin displays deep watery fields and sharp satiny devices with a hint of light amber gold toning. Preservation is virtually flawless and each side has appreciable contrast. It was sold for $13,200. Here is 1936 proof Lincoln scent with brilliant finish, following an absence of the regular annual proof production for two decades. The Philadelphia Mint again struck proof coins from 1936 to 1942. The first 1936 proof scents and nickels had a satin finish, while the later coins of those denominations, as well as all silver proofs, has a brilliant mirrored finish that's most familiar to the today's collectors. This superb gem is one of those brilliant proofs that is sharply detailed and has fully mirrored field. The surfaces are bright red with a few trivial carbon flecks. Splashes of violet toning add to the visual appeal. It was sold for $13,800. Moving on with his 1947 Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition, Mint State 68 is an extremely high grade, indicating a coin in exceptional condition with minimal imperfections. 
As such, it is highly sought after by collectors. The 1947 Washington Quarter itself is not considered a key date or scarce in lower grades, but in MS68 it becomes much harder to find. The population of coins in this grade is usually quite low, which adds to its desirability among collectors. The combination of popular series, high grade, and low population makes the 1947 Washington Quarter in MS68 condition more valuable than average circulated or lower grade examples. It was sold for $15,189.75 with buyer's fee. Here is 1944 Lincoln Sand with Repunch D over S mint mark. The FS 511 is the most sought after of the two over mint mark varieties of the 1944 D Sand, showing the upper loop of the S above the primary D. Examples are elusive in full red condition. These FS 511 coin displays a bold strike and a satiny copper orange luster with no mentionable abrasions or spots. It was sold for $15,600 in 2022. Moving on with his 2000 P Sacagawea dollar struck on a Susan B. Anthony dollar planchette, graded in mid state 65 by NGC. Elusive wrong planchette error. Planchet size is almost the same, therefore it's hard to tell it's a wrong blank error if not for the color or toning of the coin. This enchanting specimen ended up selling for $16,800. The 1947D Lincoln cent is not considered rare or valuable in MS67 plus condition. While it's true that the higher grade coins generally command higher values, the 1947D Lincoln cent is relatively common and does not possess any significant rare or unique characteristics that would make it highly sought after by collectors. However, the 1947D Lincoln cent is rare, this fine, with CAC endorsement. The present plus graded piece displays satiny copper orange surfaces and luminous fields. No distracting spots or abrasions are seen. It was sold for $18,000. Here is 1969's double dive verse sent in circulated AU58 condition. With the sole exception of the S mint mark, all of the obverse lettering is sharply doubled on this popular variety. That combination is important to distinguish between the true double dive varieties and others that have machine doubling. If all of the lettering is doubled, including the mint mark, then it's not a true double die. The reason is that mint mark was punched into the die after all other steps were completed, including the die sinking that resulted in the die doubling. Although wear touched the highest points of design, this piece retains luster with light to medium brown surfaces and splashes of chocolate patina on obverse. Hints of lavender appear on reverse. It was bargained for $18,000. This is 1955D Washington Quarter in mint state 67. According to David Hall, the 1955D is the lowest mintage 1941 to 1964 Washington Quarter. It created quite a stir at the time of issue as collectors and dealers of the day expected the low mintage to drive future rarity and demand. What happened was somewhat the opposite. So many uncirculated examples were saved that today gem MS65 examples are fairly easy to obtain. End of quote. However, in mint state 67 and over, they are pretty valuable these days. The shown vividly toned gem ended up selling for $18,590 with buyer's fee. Here is 1957 Lincoln Sand in MS67 Plus red condition, a conditionally scarce super gem red example of this late. Wheat Sand issue, rare in this grade with a PCGS Plus designation. Luster is frosty and vibrant, yielding rich copper orange and rose red hues with no carbon spotting. Strike sharpness is similarly impressive. Only a few other coins in this numeric grade share this plus designation. It fetched a sum of $20,400 at auction. And the most valuable coin of this episode, this 1956 cent, is about four times as scarce in MS67 red at PCGS as it is 
at NGC. Easy Lock Condition Sensors example it displays vibrant fire orange luster and bold strike with no trace of carbon. The eye appeal is stunning. It ended up selling for $57,600 in 2022. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the world of rare coins. We hope you enjoy discovering these valuable treasures. If you'd like to see more amazing content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.